Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, September 29th. It's uh, 2.59 a.m. I'm on my way to our morning workout session. We got a 50-something mile bike ride and then a three-mile run, three-and-a-half-mile run. So in my life, I've been involved with coaching for my business twice, two times. First time was very expensive, upfront cost, but it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about discipline. My first coach told me, he says, I want you to do something. And it's something that I still do to this very day. He says, I want you to set your voicemail with the date, the time, and when you'll be available. And I want you to set that every morning. And I still do it. This is, I've been doing that for the past four years. It taught me discipline. Second set of coaching. It taught me that it's very important to keep reminders around about what it is that you want. Just to be reminded, because sometimes we forget. We forget why we're doing it. We forget why we wanted to build a business. We forget why we had to want to have a a successful body. We forgot why we wanted kids. We forget. And it's good to have reminders around. So that you stay conscious and don't fall into a, a lackadaisical way of being. Too often, the same thing that we asked for, that we begged for, that we prayed for, We get it. Then we pray. Then we, we complain about it. You prayed for a job. Now they you're complaining because they got mandatory overtime. You prayed for a car. But now you're complaining because the repair bill is more than you want to spend to fix it. You wanted kids. But before you got the kids, you should have prayed that you'd be a good mother, a good father. You know, I would challenge anybody that's listening to this to just ask themselves today, what's one thing I asked for that now I find myself complaining about? I said childbirth was going to be easy. And the things that you want is, you know, I, I really think they're just like childbirth. 
you got to go through some things. You know, I always wanted to run my own business, and I run my own business. I always, you know, wanted to be a father. I would follow. I wanted to be an endurance athlete. Now I'm an endurance athlete. But the things I have to do to stay true to what it is that I ask for, it's hard. It's not easy. But when it's hard, too hard. And too often, I hear it. Complaints. saving it matters. But you beat it. And now everything's a problem. never know how valuable something is until you lose it. And I know for me, those, those stakes are just too high. So I, I, I choose, I make a conscious decision that yeah, Maybe my kids aren't acting right. But I'm gonna love them anyways because they're mine. I ask for them. Or maybe business isn't going ideal. See, I've had situations in business where it just went smooth as butter. And you just took them checks right to the bank. And sometimes Sometimes it doesn't. But you gotta take the good with the bad. gotta remind yourself I chose this and that's what was so important about my coaching is because it's constantly telling me we're just reminding you what you wanted and when you're reminded of what you wanted see Nobody wants to hear what well, you asked for. It. But there's no better level of accountability and appreciation than being reminded that you asked for it. It also teaches you to be careful about what you ask for. What you think you want. Right. 
for that house. Now you got it. But you don't want to do any upkeep, any routine maintenance. I think as humans we have a we have a default mechanism that the moment we get something we automatically become ungrateful for it. We automatically just take it for granted. People, things health I'll never forget I have a buddy a long time ago to eat candy all the time, eat hard candy. I thought it'd be his teeth that gave out. But his teeth's still good. But now he's got such a high level of diabetes. He touches a piece of candy and kill him. can't come out the house. Feet swell up so fast, so big. He took his health for granted. And now he can't reverse been done.